Hello YouTube, Vixen Arts here, and in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to do the Cinema 4D ripple effect that you guys are seeing on most backgrounds on YouTube. Originally I wasn't going to do this because it wasn't that overused, but now I'm seeing tons of backgrounds with it on it and I no longer see a point of why to hide it anymore, so uh, let's get started with it. So first of all, you're just going to want to customize the text how you want it uh, in Cinema 4D, and this is pretty much how I want it. It's just a uh, multiple layer text that says my name. Uh, font really doesn't matter just yet. Uh, um, <coughs> excuse me. Next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to MoGraph and you're going to want to click Effector and Random. And then you'll have a random thing right there. Now, first off, um, I'm using uh, Cinema 4D R12, not 13. Um, I know some of the commands up here are different on 12 than they are 13. For example, the next thing you have to do is create a null, which on here you just go to objects and null. I think on R12 there is a create tab up here, which you can create a null from there, but I'm not sure because I don't have it. But if you have uh, R12, just do what I do. Uh, create a null, and once you have your null and random, then you're pretty much set to go. You just got to change a few settings, and you will have your uh, wrinkle text. So you're going to want to click on random and you're going to want to change the strength down to 1 just right now and change the seed down here from 0. Yours might already be at 0 um, just make sure it's at 0. Uh, next you want to click parameter and you're going to want to change the XYZ right here and you want to change all of those to 30. All right. And once you have those set to 30 you're going to go to deformer and you're going to change the deformation right here from off to point. Um, and once you've done that, you're set, and this is basically the settings for your um, the wrinkle text. This is what makes it wrinkled. <coughs> so, next thing you want to do is you're going to want to highlight every single one of your text layers, not just one of them. You want to make the whole text that you want to get wrinkled. So you're going to have the whole thing, and you're going to click and drag that into the null. And once it's in the null, the next step is all you have to do is just drag the random onto the null. And it should, if you could see what it just did there, it shows up most on the O, it wrinkled it. Now, uh, there's two things i got to say. One, that um, this font that I'm using is not the best for the wrinkle and ripple effect because it doesn't have much curves to it. Um, second of all, that you can adjust um, how big the ripple is. All you have to do is just uh, go back to random up here. And remember when we set it to 1% strength, you could just raise that up or lower it down and it will um, distort it even more. But uh, I wouldn't go too high because that looks terrible. I generally stay around um, the 1 through 5-ish. Uh, that's generally what looks good, but it really depends on what kind of font you use. Now, you don't have to go back and redo this if you want to change the font because your uh, text layers are still here. So all you got to do is just highlight them all again and uh, change them. So, when it loads up, I'm going to switch to a font that has more uh, curves to it, and hopefully uh, it will look better. Actually, I know exactly what font to use. This, oh, lagging, don't you lag on me. There we go. This right here, that looks much better because it wrinkles, you can see, and ripples a lot of different places. And if you render, so it doesn't take too long. Uh, I think it's going to take long, but anyway, you guys, you get the point of it. You can uh, render it yourself in your own Cinema 4D. Um, I hope this helped. I. Uh, Originally, like I said, didn't want to show you guys how to do this because I had to find out on my own. Nobody taught me how to, but uh, I did. And uh, so thank you for watching this, and I hope this helped you uh, create some much better backgrounds. Thank you.